Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video I'll be reviewing this. This is G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Scrap Iron and Anti-Armor Drone. And here he is in package. Very cool box art, even though there's no window to see the figure, but you get this neat battle scene where it looks like he's in, I guess, G.I. Joe headquarters. You can see some sky stripers in the background. So I guess he is attacking the base. You can see all the different blast effects and accessories that he comes with. On this side, he is number 74, a little QR code, which I think uh, goes to his profile or his stats. The other side of the box has his picture here. And on the back, you can see all of the accessories along with the figure, the drone, and this little neat part where it shows about how tall he is, a little ruler scale here. Hey, let's get scrap iron out of the box. Here's scrap iron out of the box and as you can see he comes with a lot of things. Uh, let's look at the blast effects. So you have these two, I guess these are more like rocket effects that can attach to the, the missiles. You can see here. So you have one that's a lot longer than the other. So I guess you can simulate one firing uh, before the other. So, very cool. It's in a translucent plastic, but then painted here in the back. It has, I guess these ground blast effects as if they're, they're hitting the ground and exploding. So you get this one and this one. So two sizes, a small one and a large one. Again, in this clear plastic, it's very soft. And two more, I guess they're like, if the ground is on fire or just another ground blast effect, just lower. Same translucent uh, plastic and also painted. It comes with these two rockets and let's see over here you can check out the text laser guided x04 and same thing on this side and the blast effects from before you can see attach like so it comes with a wireless control pad of some sort for the drone. Nice little detail of the, the screen there. It comes with a pistol. His helmet. And his drone, which is in two pieces. So the treads do not move. So they're just molded in but they are, they feel a little soft. They don't feel like a hard plastic. I don't know, maybe they are. It's hard to tell, to be honest, but uh, you can see they're nicely painted. And the top part of the drone simply plugs into this ball, like so. And it's basically on a ball joint. In fact, uh, the lower part of the treads are on a ball joint, which I guess makes sense so it can be more all-terrain. Let's see the front here. I like the black here as if it's a, a, a glass, which is cool. Nicely painted. Some paint tabs here as well in here. On the side, you can see it says anti-tank 002. I guess these are brake lights on the back. Very cool molded uh, Cobra symbol. And over here, some more detail, detail of it. So serial number as well. I think this is the Mars logo, but uh, yeah, that is the tank drone. And last but not least is Scrap Iron himself. Now, as a kid, I had the original Scrap Iron toy. It was actually my first G.I. Joe figure. Um, I, I, I guess I saw it at the store. My parents told me I could pick one and I thought it'd be cool to pick this guy because he came with the rocket launcher. And you know, as a kid, what more? awesome weapon to have on hand than a rocket launcher 
Uh, so that is probably the only reason why I picked Scrapped Iron. I just thought he looked really cool and having a rocket launcher was probably like the ultimate weapon for me as a kid. But uh, here he is. Now, in Classified, the helmet can come off. Now, the original, I believe, yeah, I think the original toy, the helmet, there was no helmet to remove. It was just all molded in one. So it's kind of interesting to see his face. As you can see, he's been through some battles here or probably didn't follow proper safety protocol when firing his drone or something but it is really cool and I, I like the detail on it let me see if I can focus in closely on that let's see there you go and you can see the, the eyes are painted nicely I gotta say it's a really good job on the head sculpt and the paint apps on there I really like it a lot and I think it works so well. So while we're looking at the rest of the figure here, again, nice clean paint apps all around, like even with the buckles, which is actually surprising that they painted the buckles over here. Go down to the legs. Oops. Nice paint apps there as well. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually surprised these little buckles are painted but all around, very nice looking figure, very cool. I'm, I'm really liking uh, this modern take on scrap iron. Let's uh, put his helmet on and it fits nicely. And now you have a, a more traditional scrap iron look with his helmet. Yeah, fits pretty cool. His gun can, I guess let's see, I guess we'll go in this hand. Because um, he does have his other hand for his uh, uh, remote control for the gun, um, for the drone. But here's his pistol, so he can hold it very well. And of course, he can holster it right over here. There we go. Let's get his little controller out. So this is his uh, controller for his drone. And yeah, he can hold it really nicely. I wonder if he can hold it with two hands as if he's uh, controlling, or maybe he's just, it kind of looks like a Nintendo DS or something of some sort. But yeah, he can hold it with two hands as if he's playing video games here. Very cool. Let's see if I can focus out here now. Now let's take a look at his drone. So this is the drone. The rockets basically can go inside here. Let's put them one at a time. There you go. It is a nice modern uh, take for scrap iron. I mean, the original is, it was basically a fixed rocket launcher being a drone like this in today's uh era makes a lot more sense and i like it now i don't know i might try to print an alternative stand for him to just give him that classic look but uh for classified i think this works out very well and just to see how the rocket effects or blast effects look let's put the long one here on this side so we can do this. So I guess there, this thing, yeah, there's a little, I guess, hole so that it can stay. And let's put the other one here. And then you have a simulation of the two rockets firing. Now, the weight of it is, it doesn't hold the weight pretty well. And I guess that's one negative. Like if you wanted to angle it up, but yeah, maybe mine is just loose. I guess if I turn it this way, it's a little bit better. But nevertheless, it's pretty cool to have this uh, little uh, play feature for the for the drone. And of course, you have these uh, blast effects that if you're making some kind of oops, let's get them up here, making some sort of diorama, you can put it all over. I guess. 
as if scrap iron is getting attacked or you can uh, put it next to your uh, neighborhood G.I. Joe and make like they're getting blasted um, away by scrap iron and his drone. But all in all, it's a really cool set. I was actually surprised how much you got in this set. Um, and I was actually very surprised at the weight. It's pretty hefty. Um, very pleased I got this set. like it a lot. And I think it's it really uh, translates the original uh, into a more modern version very well with the drone feature. Anyway, that is it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And thanks for watching.